welcome. This is so exciting for us. Lisa Prento from beautiful Cape Cod, joined by my property sister in California. And I am Barbara Led from sunny San Diego. Nice to be with you again, Lisa. Yeah, fabulous. So we are so excited to have a super special guest this morning. Um, these guys got up super early, which is awesome. And I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, we're continuing our series on working by referral. And what does that mean? And how can we continue to kind of weave that tapestry and shift sort of uh, working by shiny object syndrome and working by referral. So Barbara, I know you know Peggy, and so I'm going to uh, hand it over to you. Please introduce our very special guest today. Well, I'm so very excited to introduce Peggy Yuri from um, Sacramento area. Um, Peggy and I have met um, at a couple of different Brian Buffini events, mm -hmm. and um, actually I've sent her a, re a referral or two up in the Sacramento area. Um, but Peggy is what we love to refer to as the Popeye queen. If you have any questions about a Popeye and what a Popeye is, you need to go to Peggy because she can totally explain what it is. Peggy, I'm going to go ahead and, and just kind of throw it over to you. Can you, can you first explain to everybody what is a Popeye? Yes. Yeah, so a Popeye is just really a little gift that you drop off to your clients to get um, face to face with them. And it's kind of like, um, you know, a quick, easy way to stay connected with your client. Um, so I, you know, there's a lot of ways to do business by referral. People do, you know, calls, notes, phone calls, you know, it, it, it's like, it, it just depends. And you kind of have to build a business around what your strengths are. Um, I'm not a big fan of making phone calls. I'd rather see people face to face. And so I kind of started doing more Popeyes to my clients um, when I started like 16 years ago. So when you're talking about a, a Popeye and a little gift, uh, can you kind of explain a little bit more about that? Yeah. So, I mean, it can be something very simple. I have a website where I share for free over 300 little Popeye gifts um, and the website's popeyeideas.com. And I give you lists and taglines of cute little marketing sayings that you can put on the gift, but it could be as simple as a bath and body work soap, um, just a little gesture. Um, it can be seasonal for whatever season that you're in. You could be dropping off Easter eggs or Easter egg dye kits in the spring and caramel apple kits in the fall, um, you name it. So it's um, usually, you know, you can do... Popeyes at any different price range. Um, and if you're a good shopper and you plan in advance, you can get things on clearance the year before and store them. But mine are usually probably between two and three dollars. Um, and so you can go to that website to get all of the ideas. Um, and we break them down month by month by month, and make it real easy for you. I love your website, popeyeideas.com. You got it. Okay. Perfect. How many Popeyes do you do? How do you, how do you schedule that? We're busy realtors. What do we do? Yeah. Well, we're pretty good at um, using some technology to make, you know, our routing to all the different addresses really quick and efficient. Um, but usually we'll do probably in the range of 50, some months, it depends. Um, we'll do like a blitz. Like I always tell agents, they got to build a business um, that fits their lifestyle. Because if it starts competing a lot with your family, then I think that leads to a lot of um, burnout or discontentedness with their business. And you're self-employed, so you need to build a business that's going to wrap around your lifestyle. I've got, my husband and I um, have five kids that range from 16 down to seven. And so I, you know, want to make sure that, you know, we, for instance, like in June, we'll usually be gone for the whole month and we'll travel and my assistant um, will have my cell phone and run the business with our my team. And so I won't be doing Popeyes in June, right? So then we'll double up in July, right? So it's building a business that works with your lifestyle. Now, if I had no business, right, and I was really struggling, um, I would be diving deep and doing putting massive action um, right in front of me. Um, if, if you were in like a, I have nothing going on. Okay. Well then dig deep and let's, and, and get, get some good activity going. I know in the Buffini fit system, and I think, um, that's, it's slightly different way of looking at things. You guys have both been enmeshed in the Buffini system for years. 
Where do I start? Who do I send these Popeyes to? Where do I even start with my list? How do tell me how to get going if I'm brand new and just thinking about this? Yeah. So first of all, you have to look at your database is just a list of relationships that you have, right? And in the Buffini system, we really believe in that Pareto principle that, you know, uh, 80% of your business are going to come out of about 20% of your database. So we do rank clients in our database by people that are raging advocates for you. Um, You know, that Lisa, like someone who mentions real estate and they're like, oh my gosh, you got to call Peggy, right? They're going to be my A plus clients. So we're going to be doing more things with them and we're going to be top of mind with them more than someone who, if you pushed them, prodded them, you know, poked them with a stick, they might um, refer you, but it's just maybe not that you didn't do a great job. It's just also a personality thing too, right? So, um, so we'll segment out our database and we'll put more effort towards those that are really um, big champions for our business and get in touch with them more. Now, I got into real estate. I was a certified trust and financial advisor. I worked as a corporate trustee in Palo Alto and I got pregnant with our first child. And I was like, I just don't think I can do this job. Um, in Silicon Valley and do, and and be the mom that I wanted to be. And so I got my broker's license and then we moved two hours away from our network in the Silicon Valley um, to Sacramento. And I knew two people and those were my next door neighbors. <laughs> so, um, and that's when I fell in love with Brian Buffini. I did a hundred days to greatness through the brokerage I was with. I saw him live in Monterey and I was like, you know what, this is the way I want to build my business. Um, so I started off by joining a mom's group and all of us had babies within six months of each other. And that was my first group of relationships. So I would do Popeyes to those 20 ladies in the mom's group. And then it kind of grew over the years um, from there. I still have people from that mom's group that are A plus clients of mine. Um, but if you're if you're brand new to the database or to relational marketing, it, it just think of it as a list of relationships. Um, it's kind of good to qualify them, right? Because um, say if you or a friend or family member was um, looking to buy or sell, um, do you have a realtor to be a resource to you? Um, and you can do make whatever dialogue you want to get to that point. Um, so that would be kind of, you know, bare bones, what we would do in building our, our database. I'm brand new. I've got 10 people that I think will mention my name that, you know, and I, I and so where do I start for the next three months for one quarter, Peggy? Yeah. Well, first of all, I would schedule time to do one-on-one coffees. If you've just got 10 people, um, schedule a coffee with those 10 people individually and then give them a pop by um, at that and then continue doing pop buys. So right now we're in March um, or coming into March uh, with pop buys. And so I would probably do like Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies um, and there's a tagline on um, popeyeideas.com. I would do maybe a lotto ticket or something um, spring related um, f- for March. Uh, I oftentimes will just go to Trader Joe's and see what looks cute <laughs> that I would want to get myself, right? Um, some other, you're then in April, you're rolling around to Easter. Um, this is the Popeye that I do. Um, I'll just show you an example. I uh, have five kids and we started many years ago, probably because I didn't want to hide eggs early in the morning while I'm trying to get five kids ready for church on Easter. Um, We do a night Easter egg hunt. So there's, we just got from the Dollar Tree, 18 plastic eggs for a dollar or a dollar 25. (laughs) They raise the rates at the Dollar Tree. And then we put um, 18 finger lights. Now these you can get on Amazon and they're on the website too. But um, they're really easy. I've I've done glow sticks before and tied them into a knot and it's, it's a lot of work. And so these finger lights, and then you just put them in the egg 
and you've got a glow in the dark Easter egg hunt to drop off. Um, I have in there, you know, post a picture on Facebook and, you know, top three pictures will give you a gift card to Top Golf. So that would probably be a fun one that I would do. Um, grandparents love these too. I have a lot of grandparents that their grandkids are over and they take great pictures of them doing it. So that would be um, one of my ideas. And then when you've got spring and maybe May coming up, um, if anyone's a mom or if they're not a mom, I would do some sort of like flowers, potted plant, something like that. So those would be three to kind of get you started. Um, I would try to just get in your head because I see a lot of people struggling um, is to not major in the minor details, right? Don't overthink this. Um, you don't even have to have a tag. You can just put your business card on it and say, and hand it to them, right? It doesn't have to be all packaged perfectly. I get a lot of text messages from um, agents all over the country, um, you know, with these little minute details. And I, I say, you just got to get out there and meet the people, right? <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can slap just like a address label on it and hand write a tagline if that's holding you back so much. But um, try not to, you know, major in the minors, try to give something that you would like to receive as well, um, would be some tips I would have. I heard you say, that you would never give something that you wouldn't want to receive yourself. Just something that really is useful um, or, or funny and cute, or they're going to use it up if it's an edible, right? Yeah. Edible. Yeah. Consumables are great. Um, also when you tie it into your local market, like, so for instance, where I live, it's like every family gets into their van and goes to an area called Apple Hill and eats apple donuts and, caramel apples and go to all these farms and it's kind of like a destination. So one year I got all of the, I got free Apple Hill guides with all the farms. And then I dropped off, um, apple crumble mix for them to, you know, make an apple crumble or I forget apple crisp, um, for once they get back from Apple Hill but now they have the guide and so they can plan their day ahead of time. So something local, we also, um, I'm, I actually live in a town called Rockland, which is next to like Roseville, Granite Bay, um, above Sacramento. And we have an area in November and December where we have incredible mandarins. And so I have, um, just delivered mandarins to people from local farms. So being hyper local, you know, shows you're kind of tuned into what's happening here. And that's another good thing. So if you have some specialty thing in your area, that's, that will be a nice Popeye as well. What has been your most effective in all these years? You've been doing this for so many years. What's been your most popular that you got the most feedback from and that you've, you know, enjoyed the most of Popeye? Yeah. So, um, I, the most popular one I came up with, you know, I'm a busy mom. A lot of our, a lot of our clientele is raising families. Right. And anytime you can put something, a kit easy to make a memory with, or check off that mom guilt, right? Like, bam, we did it. You know, like we go, in December, the first week in December, we go up to Lake Tahoe to this place called Res Resort at Squaw Creek because they have breakfast with Santa. They have ice skating. Check. Okay. Gingerbread house making. Check. Okay. We, they have cookie making. Check. Okay. We do all this stuff. And then I'm like, I did Christmas. Right. So, um, what I dropped off and I used to put them in Mason jars, but, um, this little caramel apple kit, so easy to put together. Um, we have one of these grocery stores that have, you know, barrels and barrels of candy. And so we just ordered, we order bulk candy from them, um, all these square caramels. And then we put popsicle sticks in and we'll go and get bulk sprinkles and bag them up. And then I have on my Popeye idea website, if you just put in there, um, caramel apple kit and the search tool at the upper right-hand corner, it 
will be there'll be our tag that we use and also instructions on how to make caramel apples in the microwave. So this is kind of like a twofer, right? Because I would drop this off. These are bakery boxes. They're five inches by five inches. You can get them really cheap on Amazon. We always have like a hundred in stock because um, they're just make, a, they're easy to pack in our car when we do Popeyes. But I had so many people that would make caramel apples with their kids and then post it on Facebook and say like, my realtor sold me a house nine years ago and she's still dropping these things by, right? That, I mean, that is literally like two or $3 plus whatever the gas is, right? To deliver. But you just like got a Facebook promotion that, you know, is, is worth gold. So that would be, a, that was probably one of my most popular ones. Well, thank you so much. Who knew that was going to be, we have to send this to Brian and to- Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love Brian. <laughs> For sure. That's how we all came together. So uh, that that's very exciting. Well, Peggy, you are just a gem and you're a gem to all of us. Your ideas, you know, you just keep us excited about uh, working by referral and about not feeling kind of wiggles and, and, you know, weird about pop buys because <laughs> have not been enmeshed in it for a while, kind of feel like, I just don't know what I'm going to, you know, but you really give us some very specific uh, strategies and resources and excitement about, uh, about doing them. So thank you again so much for doing Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.